what is going on my lines welcome now I'm excited today because I want to get into nitty gritty details of what we talked about yesterday so as you guys know I mentioned to you guys the top five or five core essentials of product research and what each one means to you guys and what each one means to your business and why is it so important so um, I've decided to break it down even further for you guys so what I'm gonna do is each point that I mentioned each video for the next five videos I'm gonna go through each point break it down so you guys understand it so you guys know the value of it and so you guys know how to use it so that's important and so I have my notes here hold on guys so let me get that just to make sure I don't forget anything okay let's think about reviews and how it works in the process of Amazon okay so you know that uh, the more reviews you get the more people will trust you as a uh, buyer they will trust you they'll trust your product um, and um, whenever you guys are buying vacations or products anything the first thing any of us does is basically goes online and tries to check our reviews to see what ratings there are what people are saying about the product uh, and then we buy it right so it's a big big influencer so you got to think about reviews um, as something really essential to your core business okay um, and there is a way to use reviews not only when you're doing product research but also how to get reviews so we're gonna go through the entire process with you guys okay so again guys why reviews are so important they determine whether you're gonna have a high sales velocity or not right so we start with product research okay and I've shown you guys I've done videos on how to do this and Chrome extension of Jungle Scout is amazing for this. You guys basically attach it to your Chrome and then you go to Amazon and you search a product or a category, right? So we uh, remember guys, we always try to do a broad category so that we can, um, we can get as much results as possible. So start with like something like organizer, right? So, and then from there, check out run jungle scout against it on chrome that i've shown you guys this before i'm going to post a video at the end of this video so it's going to be one of the end screens but also i'll post the link in the description so you guys have that so basically run a chrome extension against it and then it the chart fills up all the listings that are on page one and you can go page two three four and so on and so forth so what that shows you is basically the daily sales the monthly sales, the revenue is generating, the sales is generating, um, who is the seller, if it's an Amazon FBA seller or not, if it's seasonal, and the most important part is reviews, okay? So when you're doing product research, reviews will determine whether a product is a niche product and competitive, or it's a category you can get into and actually make money, okay? so. What do I mean by that? So when you see, when you do that kind of product research with Jungle Scouts Chrome extension, and you actually see the reviews, you, what you're doing is actually analyzing the data of your competitors, right? Potential competitors, because that's an interesting area you want to get into. Now, when you see reviews that are, are like 10 reviews, a product, a seller has 10 reviews for their listing, but they're selling over $5,000, $10,000 a month, that is a perfect perfect category for you guys you got to make sure that when you're checking for reviews is that there are not too many like hundreds of reviews sellers on there the reason being that if there are let's say there are like 10 sellers for the same category organizer right that are uh, doing crazy amount of sales and they have like thousands of reviews each one right that tells you that those are the kind of guys you'll be competing with when you actually post your listing so therefore we would not get into that category because as a new seller it'll be a lot more harder for you guys to crack into that market share uh, where there are established uh, sellers already with thousands of review reviews because again guys people trust reviews right so what we normally do is we like to stay within a range okay so anything up to 100 reviews if you see a category that has let's say the top 10 buyer or sellers have reviews um, on average about 100 each right because on top of the chrome extension you'll also see the average numbers on average there is about 100 reviews you know it's a market you can get into and the next thing you're going to check is what is the revenue for that uh, that many reviews so you want to make sure 
that uh, you're getting on products that are 5,000 and higher and have a low number of reviews, preferably less than 50, right? But you can go up to 100. Anything above that is a bit harder because as you guys know, if you don't have the sales velocity, it's actually a lot harder to get um, reviews um, and um, to basically crack into that market and grab a piece of the pie, right? So that's why we always make sure we get into categories that are low reviews but high revenue, okay? That's very important. And that's how we check for product research. That's how, that's our first indicator, guys, um, to see if a market or if a niche or if a category is competitive or not. The second aspect of this video, I want to focus on how you can get reviews because I think um, it's great to do research, product research with reviews, but also once you get started, a lot of people don't know how to get reviews, right? A lot of people are uh, uh, new Amazon FBA sellers are lost in this process. So uh, I'm here to help you guys understand that process. So as you know, when you have started your business, you have uh, produced a great listing, you have basically found a quality product with the price range that you're looking for and all that jazz, right? Now you've sold items, how can you capture reviews, right? So the way we do it is through email marketing. And what you do is set up automatic emails to go after your product, to go to the customer after your product has been sold, right? So we set up automatic emails. So the first email you're gonna do is a thank you email. So once the product is purchased by the buyer, what you do is send them a thank you email and a confirmation that, hey, Thank you for purchasing our product. We really appreciate your business. We value quality a lot and we want to make sure you're happy with the product. So we will touch base in a few days to hear your thoughts on our product. If you have any suggestions for us and most of all, if you're happy with the product and having a full money back guarantee policy really helps to get that review because and makes the buyer feel comfortable that, okay, I can purchase from this uh, from this uh, seller and I have nothing to lose because if I don't like the product or if it's something that is not really meeting my needs, I can return it and actually get my full money back guarantee, right? So that's what we want to do. That's the first point of contact. The second one is to send an email a couple of days later, make sure they're happy with the product. Now remember, people don't really care what you want. but uh, you care what you want. People care about what they want. So what you want to do is the second email, design it so that you ask them, hey, Mr. Customer, uh, now that you've had a chance to enjoy our product, so that's given that Amazon tells you that, okay, this product was delivered, give it a couple days and then after. Um, now that you've had a chance to enjoy our product, now uh, is there anything that concerns you? Is there anything that you've really loved about this product? We would like to hear about it. So that's one email and say you can actually email me personally or you can send a review or post a review on our page so make sure you send them the link the exact field and kind of like throw subconsciously ideas in your email on how they can do the review so remember guys i remember when i was buying products i didn't know what to write right? I'm like, ah, okay i love this product great product um, quality is there, this and that. But what Amazon cares and what buyers care is if you go a little bit deeper than that. So in your email, um, you can talk about certain things like, hey, did you enjoy the quality? Is this meeting your needs? Um, uh, like these subliminal messages. Um, is this product, um, do you see yourself using a similar product like this? Like get ideas. This is your time. This is your moment to get some feedback and potentially get ideas for future products that could be a complementary to your product, right? So use your reviews not only just to get sales velocity, but also to gather data from your buyers because guys, I'm telling you data, if you have concrete data and you really, really have a solid um, sample which means that you have more reviews and it has content in it and it has good stuff in it read every review that you have because you can actually extract information that will give you insights into the buyers mind right which will actually inform you in your next product research to see what kind of stuff you can sell so a personal example that I always try to share with everybody is that um, recently okay 
So here is a recent example that happened to me that I would love to share with you guys and anybody. Uh, and I know I'm going to remember that and I'm going to share it for um, many future videos. So what happened was I was trying to buy an SD card for my camera, the one that I'm making these video with, videos with for you guys. So I wanted a bigger memory size because I'm doing a lot of recordings and I'm doing a lot of video for you guys four to five a week. So I wanted something bigger, right? So I, I came across a lot of listings, a lot of great listings, but one that stood out was very professional. Even though the reviews were only 49, it really stood out. So I bought it. I bought this SD card and it came, uh, I got confirmation email. Um, once I, uh, so confirmation email upon purchase. Once I received it, apparently it triggered an email to come to me and say, your item has been delivered uh, we just got a notice we want to make sure everything looks good with the package and just a whole round customer service third email that i got a couple days later to make sure i've tried the item and if there is any concerns and how the quality is they want to make sure that everything is good and i'm happy with it so that was really important to me i'm like wow these guys are amazing they actually care about um their product right and then the fourth email when it came Two days after that, they asked for a review and if it, in a very nice way, like we really appreciate your feedback. It helps us to build more quality products and sell it and all that, like very beautifully done email. And I understand it as an Amazon seller, I'm, I know how important that is. So I always try to make sure I give them the best review if uh, it's a good product and give them a constructive review if it's not a good product. So um, I don't try to like, you know, give them all positives because if it's not a good product, I rather let them know, right? So that they actually can fix that problem rather than me being silent and then them keep trying to sell this product and they can't. So that really stood out with me because it's an, a great example of customer service and essentially that's what we're doing. We are customer service people. We are not touching the product directly. We are basically getting people to bring it for us. We're just handling everything in the background and the customer service part of things. So that's a great example of how you can set up your reviews and use them to your benefit to not only sound professional. Now I know if I need anything else for my camera, I'm gonna go exactly go to them and check out their product catalog to see what else they have that I need, right? because they stood out to me. They've built that personal touch with me and that's very important. So that's it guys. I wanted to share that story with you guys because I think it's a great example. Um, and yeah, um, thank you, thank you for watching. Next video we're gonna talk about um, your selling price and your revenue. We'll get much deeper into that which is point number two. Um, and if you have any questions, please drop it in the comments below and let me know if you have anything specific you want to know about the reviews or anything else that I've done. Uh, if you're a new viewer, welcome. Really appreciate it. Subscribe, hit the bell button. I really appreciate that. Thanks for your support, guys. And um, hopefully this channel help, will help you guys build your own Amazon FBA businesses and in the future, hopefully like uh, become a seller like me and making the money, having the lifestyle, and uh, not having to worry about money, finances, uh, whatsoever. So that's the goal of this channel, is to help you guys build that profitable business. Thanks again, have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll talk to you guys later.